This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Michelle Crandall, Fremont, California, February 2007. Letters of Two Brides by Honoré de Balzac. Letter 38. The Vicomtesse de l'Estorade to the Baron de Macumer. September. My dear, there is lying for you at Chantepleur a full reply to the letter you wrote me from Marseilles. This honeymoon journey, so far from diminishing the fears I there expressed, makes me beg of you to get my letter sent on from Nivernais. The government, it is said, are resolved on dissolution. This is unlucky for the Crown, since the last session of this loyal Parliament would have been devoted to the passing of laws essential to the consolidation of its power. And it is not less so for us— as Louis will not be forty till the end of 1827. Fortunately, however, my father has agreed to stand, and he will resign his seat when the right moment arrives. Your godson has found out how to walk without his godmother's help. He is altogether delicious, and begins to make the prettiest little signs to me, which brings home to one that here is really a thinking being, not a mere animal or sucking machine. His smiles are full of meaning— I have been so successful in my profession of nurse that I shall wean Armand in December. A year at the breast is quite enough. Children who are suckled longer are said to grow stupid, and I am all for popular sayings. You must make a tremendous sensation in Italy, my fair one with the golden locks. A thousand loves. End of letter 38